Hi YouTube, it's me, Danny, and welcome to my home in Melbourne, Australia. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Danny. I've just resigned from my job as cabin crew for Emirates and I've moved back to Melbourne, Australia. Uh, prior to working for Emirates, I was working for Qatar Airways in Qatar and now I've decided to make the move home to Australia after five years abroad living in the Middle East. Um, and today I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk about why I left Emirates because I've had so many comments, so many people asking me why did I leave, why did I give up my dream job, why, 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 why? Um, and I wrote a blog post on this the other day, um, which I'll link in the description below. I probably explained it a lot better than I'm going to do today because I find when I express myself through my writing, I'm able to articulate myself a lot better. The main reason for me was it was just time for me, you know? Um, I never intended to work for the airlines in the Middle East for my whole life. The reason why I decided to be a cabin crew in the first place was to travel, to travel the world. I love traveling, it's in my heart. I still love traveling, even though I've resigned, I still, still love it so, so, so much. It's that's why I'm there. I'm not there for money. I'm not there for the job itself. I'm working in hospitality. No, I never did that prior to becoming a cabin crew. Prior to working as a cabin crew, I worked in marketing. I worked a nine to five office job. And it was my desire to travel. That's what led me to becoming a Middle Eastern cabin crew. I wanted to be somewhere centrally located where I could travel the world, lots of perks, lots of benefits that come with the job, where it like the staff discount on tickets. I was always utilizing those tickets and traveling all around on my days off and on my leave. But like I said, it wasn't forever for me. It was never gonna be something I did for the rest of my life. I also think it's the kind of job I don't know how people do it for a long period of time because it is very, hard on the body and I'll get to that a bit later. First of all, I wanted to talk about just how we as humans, we we are meant to change, we are meant to grow, we are meant to evolve, we are not meant to be stagnant, we are not meant to stay the same. I truly, truly believe that. We are an extension of mother nature and mother nature is always changing. Just think about the cycles of the seasons from summer, winter, autumn, spring, day until night, the moon and the sun. Start off even as babies when we're born and we grow like physically into adults. And I think also in terms of our career, in terms of our lifestyle, in terms of um, our personalities, we should just always keep growing, keep trying to do better, be better, just keep pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone. And for me, like when I first started being cabin crew, it was such a challenge for me, you know, especially moving when, when I think back to moving from Australia and moving to Qatar. Oh my gosh, that was just like a whirlwind of change. Like I just threw myself into a new career, into a new continent, a new country, like new friends. It was just crazy. And that was a challenge for me. And then again, when I moved to Dubai to work for Emirates, again, it was like not as drastic of a change because Qatar and Dubai are not that different. And I was going to the same job. But again, I had to meet new friends. It was like a new country. It was very, um, it was challenging in a lot of ways and it was hard, but it was also really beneficial. I grew so much in both situations. And I just found that I'd been with Emirates now two and a half years. And I just, I lost that, that spark that I had in the beginning that I don't know what it was, but just something 
wasn't the same in me that I had in the beginning. When I first joined Emirates, I was so excited. I was so passionate about the job. I was just really, really eager to, to work for Emirates and to be a cabin crew. And then after some time, I think it was really after the pandemic, like a lot of things shifted for me personally. Um, there was a lot of changes to the jobs, really difficult because for us flight attendants, we didn't work for a long time, many, many months. Um, we didn't work, we were grounded. And you know, in the beginning it was awesome because I'm like, yeah, time off, like holiday, get to sleep, this is great. And then after some time, not earning much money, not doing anything, months passed, it got really hard. For me personally, it was really hard. Um, I've always been someone who worked and, and was always doing something. So for me, just to completely stop, I felt like I didn't have a purpose, you know? I didn't feel like I was being productive. I wasn't doing anything. And that was really hard for me. I got quite depressed during that period and it led me to meditation. I started practicing meditation basically daily, just trying different ways in order for me to find comfort during that crazy time of discomfort. And what ended up happening is I just went on this journey of personal development and I started going deeper and deeper within myself and kind of getting more in tune with my heart and my soul and who I am really deep down, not this, this girl that I was prior to that, just always on the go, always doing, 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 traveling here, there, everywhere. It really forced me to just stop and to go within and just kind of start getting curious more about like who I am, what do I truly desire? And when I went down that rabbit hole, I soon discovered that it wasn't being a cabin crew. That wasn't my heart's desire. My heart loved traveling. That was what drew me to the job. But the actual job itself as being a cabin crew, it just wasn't enough for me. And I will say that COVID definitely changed traveling. Um, I'm hoping things go back to normal. Up until the day that I left Emirates, things have not gone back the way they were since prior to, uh, what was it, April or March 2020. Since then, traveling has not been the same. The job has not been the same. A lot of the layovers that we go on we are not allowed to leave the hotel rooms. Um, we have to quarantine. So before, before COVID ever happened, I was always traveling and going out on my layovers. I was always exploring new places. Um, I used to request for certain flights and I would usually get those flights and I would get to go to all these different destinations. And that was really exciting for me. And then what happened during COVID was we stopped operating a lot of flights and a lot of the flights we weren't allowed to go out of the hotel room so you're traveling but not really um and the flights did pick up in the end i was working a lot but i i just felt like i wasn't traveling and even it was difficult to travel on my days off because of all these restrictions like, you know, you have to get a PCR test here and a, an antigen test here and you have to self-isolate and every country has different rules. And it just added a layer of stress to traveling, which I didn't enjoy. Sometimes I was just like, you know what? I don't want to pay for another PCR test. I'm just going to stay in Dubai. Like I just can't be bothered with all this headache of running around finding out all the rules and regulations for each destination it kind of deterred me from traveling as much as i would have in the past it used to just be so effortless i would just book a ticket and i would just fly on my days off and go to a country and then yeah a lot changed after the pandemic and it just was never the same for me 
And I'm hoping for all of you that are aspiring to be cabin crew, like I will say that things are getting better, but just to warn you, if you do want to be an Emirates cabin crew and your desire is like mine to travel the world, just be aware that things are not exactly where they were pre-pandemic. And I don't know when or if they are ever gonna go back. So it's just something to be mindful. I'm not blaming the pandemic on why I left but basically it just allowed me that time to really evaluate my life and my circumstances and just kind of ask myself is this really what you want and yeah when I asked myself I just realized like that it's not my true heart's desire and I've just I feel like I've kind of outgrown the job now because I I did then start to form my plan after Emirates and I had this vision that I'm working towards now once I started getting so excited about my new vision it just took all the focus off Emirates and then I kind of stopped caring as much about Emirates as I did when I first joined so when I joined I was really passionate and excited and I was so enthusiastic about Emirates but then as my my vision of my future shifted towards what I'm creating now, which I'll go into a little bit soon, then my passion and that enthusiasm, it shifted to my new goals. And then I just couldn't give the same energy to Emirates anymore. And I just felt like it's not fair for me to be in this job anymore if I'm not that same enthusiastic cabin crew that I once was. Um, so that's basically the reason why I decided to leave. So I didn't make the decision overnight. I operated a flight home um, in December last year and I wasn't actually able to leave the hotel room. So I was very upset about that. And when I flew back to Melbourne on that flight, I was so upset. I was crying. It was just like such a release of emotions. I was just distraught the whole flight to Melbourne all the way to the hotel. What happened is the next day I woke up in my room and it was like something just washed over me. I had this wave of clarity and it's what I believe was my intuition. It just kicked in and it told me it's time to move home. It's time to go back to Melbourne. And I spoke to my parents that day who I miss so dearly. I hadn't seen them for like two years at this point. And I told them like, I think I'm, I'm ready to come home now. And they were so excited for me. So I decided to wait until February when I had my annual leave. I was planning to go back to Melbourne because Australia finally opened after all these years. And I went back and every single day I was home, it just, everything was telling me, move home, move home, move home. Like it's time, it's time, it's time. And when I first went on my annual leave, I wasn't sure when I would resign. But then by the end of my two weeks of annual leave, I went back to Dubai, I made the decision, I'm resigning. And I went back to Dubai and I handed in my resignation. That's how instant it was. Like I just, I felt so clear on what I needed to do. So I just listened to my heart, for my inner voice, my inner wisdom, I just listened to it. I trusted that. And it's led me back to Melbourne, Australia. Like I know in my heart I made the right decision, you know, like, and that's what's grounding me. That's what's anchoring me. Just the fact that I know I made the right decision. I'm not missing Emirates. I'm not missing, I don't know if that sounds bad. I'm not missing Dubai. You know, it feels really good to be just on my home country. I feel really connected to the nature here. I don't know if anyone's ever experienced that, but because I've been gone for so long, like I really feel, I feel the energy from the earth and the trees and the sky and just the oxygen and just being like in Australia. This is like where I grew up and where I'm born. And I'm so connected to the wildlife here. So whenever I was living in the Middle East, it just, there was something that didn't feel right to me. It just didn't feel like home. And then coming back now, it just, it feels like, ah, oh, like I can breathe. Like it's, it's, I don't know. It's just a good feeling. Like a, it feels really soothing and just 
grounding I think that's the best way to describe it like I feel very grounded in my roots where I'm from so I love that feeling and it feels really good to sleep So the worst part about the job was definitely the sleep, the lack of sleep because you are working for an international airline and the flights are coming and departing at different times and a lot of them, because they're connecting, they depart during the night time. So it was really hard for me every few nights having to stay awake for the whole night. I'm someone who I love routine, I love mornings, I love day. I love seeing the sunlight. Um, I don't like sleeping during the day. So that part of the job just didn't work for me. And I just found after the pandemic, so because we stopped flying for such a long period, I got used to sleeping at night. And then once we started operating flights again and the flights picked up, I just couldn't handle doing lots of night flights anymore i just my body was like no i don't want to do this i like sleeping at night time i don't want to stay awake anymore that was something i really struggled with so if you are someone like me and you like um sleeping at the same time every day um, waking up early you might find that a bit of a challenge so it feels really good to now be able to sleep at night time and wake up in the morning and I'm looking forward to getting back into more of a, a healthy rhythm because that just works really well for my body when I'm just regular at sleeping my health my wellness that's so much more important to me than traveling I do believe in changing and evolving and I just feel like now I'm ready for a new challenge. My vision is now to set up my own businesses. Um, so what I'm working towards, I'm currently studying at the moment. I'm doing a course in feminine embodiment and I am hoping to start my own coaching practice hopefully early next year and that will be an online coaching practice. In the meantime, I'm going to start shooting some YouTube videos related to that because I do want to start talking about it. It's something I'm really passionate in. Um, so I am going to be creating some more YouTube videos on feminine embodiment, feminine energy and what that is about, how it can help you. So if that is of interest to you or you're just curious about what it is, then stay tuned. I'm also, for those of you that have been following my journey as a cabin crew, I'm actually writing a book on my whole experience traveling the world, on working for different airlines, working in the Middle East. I've got so much to share. I've lived like such a full life. Just the fact that I traveled to so many countries, I think I've traveled more than most cabin crew. I've now been to 77 countries and hopefully still more to come. Um, but a lot of that travel I did on my own is traveling on my days off, on my leave. So I did do a lot of travel on my own. So many lessons that I've learned along the way. Um, just so much that I've seen and I, and I just have so much to share. So I'm currently writing a book and hopefully my goal is now just to get it finished. I'm about halfway through and yeah, I just want to get it published as soon as possible. So if you are interested in learning more about the job, then, you know, even though I'm not working for Emirates anymore, I still have a lot of things to share. So I will definitely be still sharing more content on travel and aviation. I possibly might be joining an Australian airline soon. So stay tuned for that one. I will talk about that more um, later on when it's confirmed that I feel really excited about my book and about my business and I've got lots of things to keep sharing with you guys. This is not the end of my YouTube channel. And you know what else? Like I said before, I love traveling. So I don't think this is gonna be the end of my travel journey. Just maybe my travel journey with Emirates. But I still plan to travel and especially, you know what I really wanna do? I wanna travel around Australia. I've hardly seen my beautiful country. I feel like I've just traveled to the main cities like Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Perth, 
but I want to go out to more rural places and go and explore the country and the beaches and so much beauty Australia has to offer so I would love to do some travel videos on Australia and hopefully for those of you that follow abroad maybe one day you know seeing my content it might inspire you to travel down under to beautiful Australia we have so much beauty here um, and I really want to showcase that on this YouTube channel so with that said I don't want this video to go on too long um, but I hope I've kind of explained why I've decided to leave mainly because my intuition is telling me it's time to move on to these new exciting projects that I'm working on it's time for me to move on to the next chapter um, time to come back to my roots back to my home country so that's all it is nothing bad happened with Emirates I don't want to deter anyone from not applying for the job, it's a beautiful job and I just mentioned the only things I didn't like about it was the lack of sleep and flying in the night time, working shift work and I can talk about that in another video if you're more interested in finding out like the effects that it has on your body. Um, if that's a concern of yours then let me know in the comments below and if you have any other questions anything else you want to see or hear from me then sure you like and subscribe and make sure you write a comment or question um, below I love hearing from all of you you really are so supportive of me and I feel that um, in all the comments that I receive when I do videos um, I hope to be posting more regularly now that I'm back home and until the next video, um, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful week, beautiful month whenever I get back to filming another video. And until the next one, bye!